Diaz. Let's just go to Toronto. Yeah, let's let them call us. Today we are taking a look at a game that is either called Dementium 2 or Dimension 2. We Dementium, honestly, we're not sure. Dement Dimension. This is the sequel to Dementium the War. The War. Yes, came out of years ago on the DS. This game is also on the DS. Basically a survival horror action type Silent Hill-ish game. But the thing with this game is, is that you are a patient in an asylum who basically is either entered into hell or it's all in his mind. Ooh, now, which could it be? The controls are one of those things that we have to talk about because while you move around with the D-pad, your view is controlled with the stylus, right. which after a couple hours, now I found that to be you know, really kind of annoying. Is, this is the first DSi XL incompatible game. Seriously. Because the extra weight of the XL is too much to hold in one hand. You have to play this game holding DS in one hand and the stylus in the other. Actually, yeah, I found it really tired up my wrist after a little while. Well, I also found that actually on the XL, look at a lot better. And so I actually moved to my uh, DS Lite oh, okay. and uh, it looked better hmm. on there. Interesting. Uh, it's really more of a, a first person stabber, though, as opposed to a first person shooter. <laughs> well, you got the fallback of your prison shank or your. You, you find a shiver uh, earlier. So, what kind of asylum is this where they have guards in full ride gear with stun batons. Seriously, it's yeah. a hardcore asylum. You do find guns eventually, but like with good survival horrors, bullets are scarce, yeah, which course. is nice. As, as um, it should be. I mean, I like the control method. I like the fact that you're using the stylus almost as basically like your cursor, I guess, on the lower screen moving your, your viewpoint around. And it looks okay. The monstrosities are kind of cool, but I just thought, eh, I mean, it's a Silent Hill-ish game on a portable console, and the whole point of these games is to, are to terrify you, to make you really sort of psychologically creeped out. It's hard to get creeped out by something that's on the screen that big. It never succeeded in the terrorizing mm -hmm. level. Like I said, I mean, I think if you're a survival horror fan, you definitely should check this out. Well, definitely, yeah. Um, Every element of this game we've seen before, and as soon as I play a video game where I come across the impassable waist-high crate, <laughs> just, it just drives me nuts. Don't pull me out of this world by creating barriers that are basically a crate. I need to get aside, but oh no, I can't crawl across this crate. Mm -hmm. For what it is, it does an okay job of translating that experience to the handheld. I just don't think the handheld is the place for that experience, really. For fans of the survival horror genre, you know, particularly looking for something portable, this is something to look at. But overall, what do you think? Uh, I gotta give it a 6 out of 10, I think. I think I have to agree. 6.